What's up guys? We are back here with another video. We've got uh, some big changes coming to the car. I can't say what they are. Um, cannot wait to get it done though. I really think you guys are gonna like it. Um, huge change up. Um, I'm partnering up with someone. I'll let you know who that is later on in the video. Uh, super excited, he reached out to me. Um, great guy, his name is Jay and uh, can't wait to work with them here on the uh, Corvette. Uh, should take about a week to get the car back here. Um, and stay tuned and uh, I'll be able to update you guys what it is and we will do a unveiling of the car. All right guys, we are here. I can't say where yet, but it will be pretty obvious. Um, can you guys see? He wants me to pull in here. Not sure what he wants me to do here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull in. Activate our camera here. I'm sure you guys know where we are at. Um, but yeah, so basically what I'm thinking, because when I look at factory cars they leave this black yeah, yeah. so i was thinking of doing this part gray and then what do you think you think we should do the brake there or not do the brake there it's like it looks more custom yeah. with it being that gloss but obviously i want it to look like a wrap um i really can't decide honestly i mean it's gonna add character to it it's not gonna, like anytime you see a wrap C7, it's a full wrap. Yeah. Usually they only do something like on the hood. So it'll be, a, I would say, more original looking. Yeah. But, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I definitely want to do that and yeah, then leave you know, all the. The, 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 the future is usually always kept black. It's just, just, you know. Okay. But, um, but yeah. Obviously, like your vents. All the arrow. Yeah, your arrow, stuff like that. The only other thing I was debating on was doing, um, leaving this, either leaving that gloss black mm -hmm. to break it up because the roof would be gloss black or doing the entire hood. I wanted your opinion on that too. Uh, I think if you're gonna do, I think if you're gonna do like that break, if you, I think either way it would look good. I, you saw the blue Corvette I did, right? Yeah. So, it, like, you, you did, like, the cut out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, again, I mean, I think it'll add to it. It's kind of like, uh, if you accent in gloss black, keep it small, but if you're going to make it, in, like, an accent color to the whole car, then yeah. you got to do a good amount of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Like, if, if you were going to, if you were going to actually do a hundred percent of, uh, of every inch of every car of the car then stuff like this you know what i mean like your 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 vents and stuff like that keep black yeah but if you're gonna do that break then make it continue throughout the car i agree you know what i mean yeah so yeah it's, it's tough to decide on that i mean worst case if i do the hood that way and you really don't like it you can just fucking do it you can just do it like leaving it glossed in the yeah. middle. I think we should leave it glossed in the middle. The biggest thing then would be is I do want to keep mirrors black. Okay. Obviously all the arrow, all yeah. this black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the big thing, what I think is with doing that break here, as if is it, is it gonna look weird with all that black underneath and then it being that black and minimal gray would be my only question. If it was your car, would you do that in entire piece black? What? Like all this? Because uh, basically I, I was thinking just that gray line to this point and then it being black all the way down, kind of like how GTRs are and then having that. I mean, it follows the body, like where that break would be, it would follow this, Yeah. Right? So, I mean, aesthetically it'll look, vinyl is nothing but stacks and balance. Everything's symmetric, you know what yeah. I mean? Symmetrical. So like, if you're gonna do it like that, would be the place to do it. I mean, I personally think it'll look good. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. And again, I mean, where's these? Yeah. Um, yeah. I figured. Okay. It's not like it's like you know, I 
they try and stall on one day and then you know you mean you're like hey i think i do want to do the horror yeah it's not like it's kind of like looking different yeah you know I, mean? I agree with that and then i was i was debating on the um it's from a coating wheels, but I actually have this company sending me rims. Okay. Um, I'd probably rather coat those than yeah, these because I'm going to take off these the off. Yeah. yeah. I could just bring them to you brand new, you yeah, know, yeah, instead yeah. of. I usually, that's what I usually tell people. If they're going to buy wheels, don't mount them down and don't do anything until you either, or have them mount and bounce and then bring them to me actually. Okay. Because usually when they mount and bounce, they, they got to stick their balance or weights on there and everything. And okay. Will, if you ceramic it, the weights won't actually stick anymore. Yeah. So you're going to mount and bounce and then bring them to me and then you can throw them. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll wait and do that. Last time seeing it black. see it there and then you said you would be able to kind of like buff yeah, a little bit of that okay off. sweet yeah. did you put putting ceramic coat on that or no yeah okay. yeah because i was i was looking at some guys that had wraps and they did go up to here and then all the way to here and leaving that black but i think it looks like paint at that point and not a wrap Right. Which is kind of the idea, though, you know what I mean? Yes and no, well, yeah. I just yeah, want it to no, look I, like I, custom. I mean, yeah. Like eye, more eye catching. Yeah. I think yeah, so. You don't want it to look like, uh, you don't want it to look OEM. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, exactly. No, I get it. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. Because that whole, like I said, the GTR thing where it kind of wraps around like yeah. that, and then I've seen some. F types do that too, yeah. where they do the two tone look. That's like the, um, the like I said, the, the other, the one C7 that I sent you, that's what he did. He had the color tone all through here and then the D black and blue black. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that's the move. Next time we see it, it will be a different color. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, it's about a week later. We're here to pick up the car. Uh, stay tuned. I think you're all gonna be super surprised. Gotta go take a look. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I think we picked the right colors. Oh my, wow. All right, guys, here she is. We end up going with the uh, gloss nardo gray and then we did a two-tone here <laughs> came out so freaking good so they're going two seam the entire car the gray sport and then this is the only open seam and then i left your ppf on because nice you probably would have done more damage pulling it off rather than yeah just leaving on or wrapping over it yeah that came so, from factory like that yeah yeah so, and then same thing with like your handles, your seams are hidden all along the, 
you know, the, the, the pillar. So there's no seams in here. Awesome. It's all hidden. I love it. Exceeded my expectation for sure. Super glad we did the black. Goodness. You guys have no idea how hard it was to pick a color. My goodness. I still can't get over it. Prime three wrap guys. If you're in Tampa Bay, St. Pete, pretty much anywhere in Florida, if you guys want to get your car wrapped, got to go to Prime 3 Wraps. Jay will hook it up. Can't get over it. Wow. God, your father, man.